I'm Sari Cohen, and we are here today speaking with the cast of Chad. Let's take a first look. We're in high school now. We can't be losers anymore. Why? Did you eat the lunch I made you? It was lamb stew. Do you ever eat just regular American food, like peanut butter sandwiches with the crust cut off? Can you get that? It's my date. Isn't the whole point of being a mom that you don't have a life anymore and it's all about the children? Nope. Brazzle, dazzle, never gonna stop. I promised mom I would babysit the crap out of you. Now get on your jammies, put on a better attitude, and let's spend some quality time together. I am so excited to be talking to you today. I keep telling everyone how obsessed I am with this show. I fell in love with it instantly. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I do want to ask you about working with Nassim. What have you learned by working with her? Working with Nassim was one of like the best experiences ever. Um, I feel like since I'm still like a newcomer in this industry, like having someone like Nassim to look up to and observe while I was working, watching her improv and just her acting is amazing. Like I could never get experience like that anywhere else. She helped, I guess she did help me refine like comedic timing and stuff because we did riff a lot. Some of them, some stuff got in that I've noticed from some of the episodes that I've watched. Some stuff unfortunately didn't make the cut, but I guess she did sharpen my senses like as an actor and improv, like improv wise as well. So she helped me along with that. Yeah. You play Nas, Chad's mom. So when you're being with Nassim, do you get lost in her character or do you have a hard time keeping a straight face? I totally get lost in the character. Um, I think I only broke once the entire series. Um, but when I see Nassim, it's, she's so Chad and the stakes are so, they feel so high for Chad that, um, yeah, I'm able to stay in it. Uh, I, I don't know how, because she's hysterical and brilliant, but um, yeah, I stay in it. You should go to like 11. Okay. Oh, my hat sucks. What? I um just I just had a little bit of sex this summer over summer break is what I was gonna tell you when we were talking about summer earlier. So yeah, it was great. Don't know what you guys did, but I had sex. You had sex? Full on, yes, with the female horny style. <laughs> you lost your virginity? It's completely gone. Why are you telling us this? Just thought it was an interesting fun fact about me and my summer and my lifestyle. Do you, do you know what I mean? What can you tell audiences about Denise without giving too much away? So Denise is very blunt, straight to the point. She'll call anyone out, especially Chad. She'll call him out on anything and she's determined and she's just amazing. Playing her was so much fun and I think she's an awesome character. Peter is a very good boy with a good heart and is always looking out for Chad. He wants what he always wants what's best for him. And sometimes there's just like you can see a little cracks in his patience. He's normally very patient, but there are some things there are some times when Chad takes it a little too far. That's all I'm gonna say for now. What can I say about my character? You know, Nas is um, a mom who's always coming from a place of love and compassion. I think that when dealing with Chad, she she does. She tries to come from a place of, of calm, love, compassion, and you don't really see her becoming frazzled um, in the way we've seen maybe other TV moms. Um, and I think she always understands where he's coming from and knows how difficult his position is. Maybe there's a tiny little bit of guilt that, you know, his dad isn't around. So um, I think that's who Nas is. What do you think it is that makes the character of Chad so relatable and gives it that cringy feeling? 
I think it's the cringiness, you know? Um, I'm still personally in high school right now, almost done, but I'm still in high school. But I think for most people who have that um, experience of looking back on high school and you probably cringe at yourself like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And I think it's just so relatable to be like, oh, I did that. And you can see this poor kid Chad struggling in the same way that it's, I think that's the beauty of the comedy that brings out in the show. I guess the appeal is like watching this on watching this kid mature a little bit, gain a little bit more self-awareness and ultimately become a better person along the way. So for people who haven't seen the show yet, what are they missing? Um, I think there's not a lot of other shows on the air like Chad right now, you know? Like we were saying, there's this kind of cringe comedy that you can't find a lot of other places. And this is really unique perspective on high school, which can be done so many times, but this show in particular has this great perspective on high school and comedy and this cringe parody of it, which I think is just so fun. They're missing history. I mean, it's the first show, I mean, like, come on, they're missing history. It's the first show that centers around uh, a Persian American Muslim child, a uh, teenager, and his family. I think they're missing, you know, an edgy, funny, sharp show. They're missing a brilliant performance by Nassim. I mean, truly brilliant. It felt like I was in a master class every day on set. Um, and they're missing fun. Like, they're gonna laugh. Yeah, they're gonna cringe. They're gonna hide their eyes. They're gonna say, no, what are you doing? But they're also gonna laugh. And I think, you know, we need some laughter right now, you know? So yeah, they're missing fun, but also history. Everybody, make sure you go check out Chad. It's airing on Tuesdays on TBS. I'm Sari Cohen. See you next time. You kids in your screens. Chad, I didn't realize you were Persian. I'm not like so different. I just have olive skin. So I'm a Hayek. Would it be okay if we just try to blend in more when we're in public? Can you hook me up with that Wi-Fi password? We're enjoying each other's company right now, Chad. I kind of feel like that depends on who you ask, right?